So I got a question from a subscriber. I really appreciate your input. Mr. Simon Wood asked if I could do the latest firmware update on the DX6, and specifically he wanted to see the quadcopter profiles. So uh, as promised, of course that was three weeks ago, I'm getting to it. Here's the DX6. We're gonna see if we can uh, download the new software from uh, Spectrum and uh, get this thing updated with the new uh, quadcopter profile. As you know, this currently has uh, Acro, which is airplane, sailplane, and helicopter, but there's nothing in there for uh, for your quadcopter. So when you sh when you have a quadcopter in there, it shows a little picture of a of an airplane, which isn't very cool. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try to get this thing updated. So here we go. I apologize for the crudeness of this. I don't have time to screw around with doing some sort of screen capture. So we're just going to capture it the old-fashioned way by uh, showing the camera on the screen. So let's get started. All right, so the first step of updating our software is you have to register the radio on SpectrumRC.com's website. And to do that, you have to create your own login which is fairly easy. You give them a name, email, address, etc., etc. Sign your life away, and then you have access to their update files. Um, so one of the things about doing this process is after you get your your login, then you have to create a registration for your product. So in our case, is the DX6, and so we're gonna. We go through a series of steps doing that. One of the main steps is identifying your radio, and you have to enter this huge serial number. And the preferred way is to upload it onto a SD card. So I'm going to show you real quickly how to do that. You get an SD card. This is one that came free with a Canon camera a number of years ago. We're going to take that SD card and we're going to stick it in the into the radio. So there we go, push that in. Now I've got it upside down, so I gotta flip it over. And you slide that in until it clicks. Okay, that's in. Sorry about the lighting, it's not the best, is it? Oh yeah, there we go. Now, <laughs> now after we get the card in, I'm gonna show you a trick that I haven't shown before. Of course, this is in the manual if you wanna read it. You, to get into system setup quickly, we're gonna hold down the toggle, which is over here at my thumb, hold that down and turn on the radio. And there we go, now we're in system setup quickly instead of having to screw around with going through a number of menus. So I'm gonna scroll down to system settings, and then we're gonna to go to next, and we're looking for that serial number. Go to next. And there is the serial number. It's quite large, isn't it? So we're going to go through there. And we're going to hit export. See if I get that in the screen there. Okay, it says okay. So now it's exported it to the SD card. As you can tell, i got an audience here. All right, so we're going to turn that off. Turn the radio back off. Now we're going to pull that SD card out, all right, and we're going to stick it in our computer. Once it's in the computer, in the registration screen, it'll ask you if you have a file to upload. And you simply access the file, like uploading a photo onto a web forum or something, from your My Computer or your hard drive area, and upload it to their website. So that brings us to here, okay? So the next thing is we're gonna download some updates. So we're gonna go over to this tab and click. And there it goes. And we have some software instructions. All right, let's get started. So the first step is we're gonna download the file. Now, before we go on, let me clarify something. Make sure you read these instructions. I'm just some guy making videos, so by all means, don't listen to me. Make sure you read your instructions and uh, take 
what I say with a grain of salt. Because I've been known to be wrong before. Um, with that being said, if you have a lot of uh, models saved in your radio, make sure you back up the radio models first by saving them to the SD card. I'm not going to make a video of that because I'm not going to do that with mine. Supposedly this software, this particular instance, will not, or version, will not erase the, the models that are already in your radio. So we'll see what happens. So I'll be the guinea pig. I only have two things programmed currently, so it's not a big loss. So let's hit download and see what happens. All right, we're going to save the file. And that's saving, so I'll be back in a minute when it gets done downloading and we'll transfer it to the SD card. All right, we have our file downloaded. It's right there. And this is the screen for the SD card. So I'm going to simply copy that over there. It's a whopping 1.7 megabytes, so it's a fairly small file. All right, before we do anything else, or before we work with the radio, we have to do one other thing, and that's download some transmitter uh, sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, do that. All right, so we're going to download the English version. So we'll click on that, save the file. Transfer that the same way to the desktop and then we'll transfer that file also onto the SD card. So I'm going to let that download and then we'll go over the ins installation of the software and the sound. So it should be fun. We'll either destroy the radio or uh, succeed. One thing is very important, make sure you leave the radio on. So I'm going to reinforce that a few times. Also, make sure you safely eject your um, SD card by going down here as normal and safely eject your hardware. All right, let's get to work. So we have our files downloaded, both sound and the software update. So first step is we're gonna do the software update. Let's turn our light back on, shall we? There we go. All right, we're gonna take our card, insert it into the computer, or excuse me, <laughs> into the radio, which I guess is a computer radio. And with that inserted, we're gonna turn on the radio. Now you do not wanna turn the radio off after you have inserted that card because it is running through a program update and it could cause damage to your radio if you turn it off midstream. And that's clearly stated in the instructions. So here we go, we're gonna turn it on and it should act differently. Notice it's flashing and it's updating. See that? So this is a different boot up procedure than normal. So it's updating the, the software. So after this update, we should have the new multi-copter feature, which I'm pretty excited about. And there it goes. All right, notice my Nano is still programmed. That's pretty cool. Now let's go into the menu. All right, we're gonna go to system settings and we're looking for the version, which should be in the serial number area in system settings and there it is 1.04 that matches our computer 1.04 so it did update so that's great okay so we have our uh, software or firmware updated on the radio now the next thing is to update our sounds so here's how we do it we're gonna go into system setup again so let's scroll down to system setup And we're going to go down to file transfer or transfer SD card. There's that. Now we're going to go to options. Update 
update firmware, update sound. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to click on that. We're going to select the file. That's the one I just downloaded. Please stand by. And there it goes. I'm not sure if you heard it, but it said to please stand by. So this could take up to five minutes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera for a moment, let it update, and then uh, we'll check it out, see if it works. So be back in a few. All right, so after about five minutes of upload time, it finally updated the sound files on the radio. Um, so make sure you have some good batteries uh, if you're going to update it, because it takes at least five, six minutes, I'd say. Um, so real quick, before I sign off, let's see what the feature we've been looking for. Let's go down to System Setup model type and there it is there's the multi-copter so um, I'll use that new feature to rebind the uh, Nano QX and uh, hopefully you can do the same on your radio if you have one of these so I'm looking forward to it that should be in about a week when that video is released and uh, until next time thanks for watching Project King videos we appreciate your support and uh, have fun out there.